what's up everybody? This is Angelina from Divine Hustles and today we're going to be interviewing with... Marcus Newsom, creator of Lightning Strike. Hey, that's what's up. Now, would you like to talk about what today is about? What's going on today? So we're here having a book signing to uh, promote uh, Lightning Strike issue 3, the Cloud Chase and Superhero. My new, new edition of the series Lightning Strike, a hero was born. And congrats on that, dude. Congrats on that. Would you like to share how you started with all this? Yes. So how I started, it was really supposed to be a movie. Mm. Then, you know, uh, and the story was horrible. <laughs> the story was horrible. Everybody starts somewhere, you know? <laughs> yeah. And it took some some really good people to really tell me, it's like, if you're going to write a story about, you know, where you come from, Compton, mm. write a story about Compton and your experience. So. I just, you know, you know, thought about all the stuff I actually been through and just made it into uh, put a superhero thing to it and still told the true story. That's definitely yeah. creative. I love how you did that. It's not only some sort of autobiography, but you uh, advertised it into a comic book. Yeah. It, it reaches a wide spectrum. Now, who would you say inspired you to this? What inspired you to buy this? Uh, what inspired me? Uh, I watched a lot of Ninja Turtles. Sounds like my kind of creature. <laughs> Growing up, um, and you know, watching this, you know, I'm, I'm a big cartoon guy. You know, I uh, love cartoons. You know, uh, uh, what really inspired me to put the comic book out was some good friends, Dora Carter, uh, Don Walker, those type guys. Uh, those are also comic book guys. Uh, and just you know, just wanted to tell my story. You know, and comic books it just made sense. Yeah. And with the comic book guys, it not only consists of photos and action packs, like words like cow, bam, no, it's not only that, there's also a storyline and writing that goes into this. Now, you said you wrote it, right? Uh -huh. Share a little bit how that went. What was the writing process like? Did you have these thoughts? You uh -huh. know, what was that like? So, uh, it was so crazy about that. Like, you know, writing, is, writing can be very complicated mm -hmm. because, especially starting it off, starting like, like, this is the beginning, you know. It was really hard, you know. I didn't, and I didn't want. I wanted to separate myself from everybody. You know, how can I add a superhero theme, and how can I make make it make sense to the to the personal you know, story uh, that I want to create? Then it just, it just, you know, it just came to me. You know, like like this how the character was made. You know, I had a dream. Oh wow! Yeah. How did know? the character originate as well? I was 12 years old. I was 12 years old, wow. and my brother, like, my brother, all my brothers are, are the biggest, are also biggest influences in my, you know, in my journey, you know, coming to now, you know, even, you know, even continuing. Um, he told me that because I, I had a had a problem with drawing, well, not a bad problem, but I had a uh, thing with drawing uh, Ninja Turtle, Boxhead Ninja Turtles, and mm -hmm. Spider Man, and you know, Dragon Ball Z, you know, that's all I was drawing. Then my brother was like, well, you know, you're good enough to do this, you know, create something of your own. So that was, that's what I was already doing. I was creating my own version of these characters. Oh. So my brother was like, you should create something, a creative character of your own. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I did that. Then it was like, no, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like almost like, you know, that first uh, trilogy of Spider-Man where you see him growing, like, being like, no, no. <laughs> so, um. Uh, I had a dream uh, of how the character looked, okay. you know, and I always kept the sketch with him in my bed. Oh. You know, yeah, it's, yeah. No, no, no. I should start doing that again, but um, I, I woke up, the character came to me, and I woke up, and I, I drew the character, and uh, I needed a name. You know, then it was like, I heard this loud boom, and I, um, I looked outside, and it was like, it was storming. It, just, it sounds like a movie. <laughs> it, you know, the rain was like, it was like a storm outside. Very dramatic. Yeah, very dramatic. <laughs> and uh, uh, a lightning rod. So I thought the lightning, uh, lightning. And that's oh. how I came up with the name Lightning Strike. Yeah. So, Lightning Strike. Mm -hmm. Guys, just to summarize, Lightning Strike is all up. He said that the character originated, he was just sleeping one night, this popped into his mind, he woke up and he was like, oh, you don't, know but then out of nowhere, light, there was a storm, lightning just BAM! Mm -hmm. And that's where it came from, why would an inspiration be to just take that event, so mm -hmm. then just lightning coming out of nowhere and turning into a character, you know? And this guy not only writes it too, but he draws, what's that like, too, being an artist, <laughs> like, diverse artist. Yeah. <laughs> Very versatile. Yeah, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to touch everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just, I, I can't go with David, I'm sorry, you know, yeah. 
I wish I, I really wanted to do random drawings again, but like, let's go get some back. Uh, yeah. Vision man, vision man. Yeah. Now, what's your overall vision for your comic book? What's your goal? Uh, so my goal is to create, create something where I can be able to give back to my community. You know, Beautiful. like I want to create like a direct center for kids to go to like learn how to make comic books. You know, mm -hmm. how to tell their stories or you know, go somewhere to create. You know, like. I want to do something that wasn't wasn't available for me growing up. Growing up in so I just want to do more. You know, I want to do movies. I want to do you know more uh, more uh, more comics. You know, mm -hmm. different characters. I want to see different characters. Um, yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff that I I got I got planned to do. That's awesome. Yeah. Supporting your community. Yeah, yeah. Now that's, uh, not, that's like number one. That's yeah. always number one. Support each other, everybody. Mm -hmm. And uh, speaking upon that. Any last thoughts and um, words to hustlers out there just like you and the youth? Um, yes, so if you have a dream and it seems like it's not real, do it. Find out for yourself that it's not, that it's not real. Mm -hmm. Because everything is possible, like everything. You know, just go out there, just jump out there and see what happens. You know, it, it won't kill you, you know, just do it. You know, if it don't work, it don't work, but now you know. Now you know, everybody. Yeah. Take that chance, take that risk to true hustler mentality. Now you heard it here, folks, over here with... Marcus. That's what's up. Now, support each other, be kind, and keep hustling. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know I, I fell in love with comics. You know, like... Do you remember your first comic? My first comic I read? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh. It, was, it was a Ninja Turtle comic book. Because oh. I was always a Ninja Turtle fan. You know, I was 13 when I first read my first Ninja Turtle comic. 